Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy. Here's a great back finisher for you. You want to sculpt the back? Maybe you've just finished a cardio workout, or you maybe did chest and back, but you want to target that just a little bit more. Well, we're going to do that in this short finisher. I said short short finisher. I whistled on the S. Grab a variety of dumbbells in the workout today. You'll need that. I'm also going to use a bench, but if you don't need one, I'll show you my application if you don't have it. All right, ready? 15 minutes. Let's do this. Let's do the daily. Okay, there's not gonna be a warm up. I'm assuming you're doing this as a finisher, but if you need to warm up, please pause the video and do one on your own. All right, starting with the one arm row, I'm gonna progressively overload this. So I'm starting with the 15. All right, I'm gonna do all three rounds right in a row. Nice flat back, shoulders back, leg is out. Ready, and row right here. You're up, good. I'm gonna call halfway, we'll switch. And then the next round, I'm gonna go up and wait. And then in the third round, I'll go up once more. So all back to back to back. One more here. Switch your side, moving quick. And row. Don't drop the head. Good, I'm going up to my 20. I'm doing the same thing back to my original side. All right, legs out and back. Back is super flat, shoulder back as well. Throw it here. My pace is gonna slow slightly, that's okay. more here for me. Switching sides and work. my 25 for my last round here. You knew what weights work for you. I got about 10 reps last round. I'm aiming for between eight and 10 this time. Flat back, here we go. One more for me, and switch your sides. That was 10. Here we go. All right. I'm gonna lay flat on my back for a dumbbell pullover. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a set with the 15, then with the 20, then with the 25. Normally I'd lie across the bench, but because of this quicker transition, I'm gonna lie lengthwise. You can lie on the ground. All right, creating that diamond shape with the arms. Slow and controlled. So you're slow, two, three, and lift. Flex at the top. Think of those lat muscles, those long back muscles lengthening at the bottom here. And contracting and squeezing at the top. Thank you. 
Last one here. All right, I'm switching weights. I'm gonna go up to my 20. And get into position. Diamond, slow, two, three, and flex at the top. Very good, last round. And I'm gonna go with my 25. Of course, you can stay with whatever weight works for you, okay? When you're ready, pause if you need longer. Here we go. Slow, two, three, and here. side at a time. I'm going to start with just a 12 pound dumbbell. I'll call halfway again. I'm hinging forward. Arm comes out to the side up to 90 degrees and down. No swinging at the bottom. Here we go. Pop it here. Control. Yes, this is a little bit of rear delt, but it is in the back of our body. So we're sculpting that whole back area. Plus, you hit a little bit of middle back here as well. Think of retracting that shoulder blade. One more here. Good, switch your side. the original arm that you started with and hinge flat back pull good one more here and switch Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna flatten our bench again. We're gonna go into a one-arm row, but you're gonna make a little circle. Instead of straight up and down, you're gonna sweep it, and we're gonna hit the lap a little bit more. So I'm with that 15 again. Where's my 15? Right there. So you're gonna make like a C, the shape of a C or a semicircle, all right? Think about lats. This is gonna target them a little bit more. All right, do that circle. So bring it up and back, right? You see the difference? It's not straight up and down. You're making that little curve, a little letter C at the bottom. Hard to hit lats in a home gym without cables. This is gonna do it, I can totally feel it. One more here, and switch your side. Let's go, and letter C. back to my original arm. I think I might stick with 20 for both uh, round two and three. I think 25 might be too heavy for this for me, but we'll see. And work. See? <clears throat> it's hard not to use momentum at the bottom here. That dumbbell wants to go wee, But try to make it come to a dead stop. Switch sides. Oh, I totally feel that in the lats. Do you as well? Okay, good. We're on the same page. Last round, go up if you'd like. I'm sticking with 20. Back is flat. some explosive bent over rows right here with light weights and then we'll go down on the ground for some supermen. I'm grabbing 12s I think for the explosive rows. These are hard. I literally probably will do 15 and then stand and stretch my back out. You do what you can. You do about shoulder width. Hinge here. Row and pull. You stay hinged at the waist. All right it's this explosive row. So core has to be nice and tight. break, stretch my back for a second, and pop into the last half here. Woo, quads too, hey? Three, two, one. All right, last exercise. Taking it to the ground for some Superman. If you can only lift either upper or lower, do that. Otherwise, we'll lift both and pause for a few seconds at the top. So you're up, two, three, relax. Up, two, three, relax. Oh, 
over half. Last one here for three, two, one and done. You move daily in your back finisher. Let's do some cat and cow here, can we? Round up through the back. Oh yeah, that was good. Just ignore the beat right here. I'm just gonna push my hips side to side, do a little back stretch for 30 seconds here. And into child's pose, stretch the chest, drop the head. Good, let's round up through the back one more time. And then exhale, arch the back, lift the chin. One more time, lift up and around. And push your tip back to the back wall. And switch sides here. All right, I'm gonna put my hands on the ground. Stand up slowly, keep my hands down there. Stretch that lower back. Now round up one vertebrae at a time. Three, two, you move daily in your back finisher. Thanks for joining. Hey, there's the finisher playlist if you want to add something else on for tomorrow's workout. See ya in the next workout.